My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm going to show you how to add glamour effects to your photos in Photoshop. So in glamour photos usually um, there's a series of things that can be added. For example, uh, if you have a blemish or a mole or something, um, I'll just add a really quick one, merge that down as if it were a part of my face. Um, you can go over to get rid of any kind of blemishes or red spots or anything like that, you can click this button right above the paintbrush and just draw right over it and it'll get rid of any sort of blemish you have. Um, actually, I have one right there. So. Yeah, and then the spot there and it gets rid of them like magic pretty much. Um, so then you can add, add a layer to your photo um, next to the trash can, this button right here, just click that. And I'm going to start adding some makeup to my face. Um, and what's key about adding makeup is that you want to make sure your opacity is pretty low and that your brush is, uh, looks like this. There's the airbrush and then there's like the solid brush. Make sure you have the airbrush selected. Um, and then you can zoom in and start playing around with your makeup. I'm just going to go ahead and add some purple. And at first it's not going to look like much or it's going to, in fact, it's probably going to look really silly because it's really bright and sticking out like that. But don't worry because that's going to change. Once you've figured out your eye makeup situation, go to this little button right here and it's going to, this is your layer opacity. You can select um, whichever one you want, but I'm going to select multiply or you can also do overlay. Um, but like I said, multiply is the better of the two. Um, and then you can, if you go below your gradient uh, button, there's a smudge tool, but it'll look like this. So just hold this button down and select smudge tool. And then you can sort of start to smudge the makeup and the smudge tool is what I highly recommend for any sort of makeup adding um, just because it'll blend it into your image and just make it slightly more realistic than if you were to use a blur filter or some kind of motion filter. Um, and this one you can have a big brush if you want to. You can also desaturate it. Um, I'll do that later though. So like I said, just blur it. And then once you've added that, um, you can always add, oops, you can always add um, lip color. And this one's my personal favorite to do because it's the easiest. Add another layer, paint on your lip color, whatever color you really want. And then do what we did before, go to Layer Opacity Multiply, and this will look like you've now stained your lips. So then you use the exact same thing, you did Smudge Tool. And then I'm going to show you how to make it shine and sparkle for the glamorous part of it. And just be careful when adding this detail it can get really tricky if you're not careful. Okay. All right, so we got that. Now what we're going to do is go to, instead of using the burn tool, we're actually going to use the dodge tool. So select that. And then make your brush smaller. And you can go ahead and dodge. Any, anywhere there's light, you're probably going to want to dodge it. My name is Alex and this is how you add glamour effects to photos in Photoshop. Thank you.